name is Ida Rombach from the University of Kaiserslautern and Fraunhofer in Kaiserslautern, Germany. As chairman of the Harlan Mills uh, Award Committee, it is my pleasure to announce the 2009 winner of the Harlan Mills Award and give the award together with Hausi Müller. The IEEE's Computer Society's Harlan D. Mills Award recognizes contributions to the practice of software engineering through sound theory and consists of a $3,000 honorarium and plaque. It is my pleasure to be here at ICSI 2010 to present the 2009 Harlem D. Mills Award to Bertrand Meyer for practical and foundational contributions to object-oriented software engineering, software reuse, and the integration of formal methods into the above. Now. Professor Bertrand Meyer is a professor for software engineering at ETH in Zurich, Switzerland, and founder and CTO of Eiffel Software. He has been active in pioneering modern ideas of software engineering and object technology in both industry and academia. He has developed the Eiffel programming language, method, and environment. Eiffel embodies the design by contract approach to software development and thereby facilitates the construction of reliable, extensible and efficient software systems. In 1985, he founded the company Eiffel Software in order to promote his approach in industry. Since 2001, he has joined ETH Zurich, Switzerland, one of the most prestigious universities in Europe, and introduced a new approach to the teaching of programming. Those of you who attended his keynote know what I'm talking about. He is one of the rare breed of people accepted by both academics and practitioners. Professor Meyer's work is very much in the spirit of Harlan Mills in that it has made long-standing, sustained and meaningful contributions to the maturing of software development in theory and practice. Professor Meyer continues to work at ETH on the next generation of software engineering principles, methods and tools. He is truly an outstanding member of our community and a well-deserved recipient of the Harlan Mills Award. Please join me in congratulating Bertrand Meyer. to thank uh, lots of people, but actually I won't because <laughs> there are too many of them, maybe Alexi and uh, Natasha. Uh, I would also like to express uh, gratitude and humility, uh, lo looking in particular at the list of uh, previous recipients, but I'm also not going to do that uh, well, because, well, it would take too long. Uh, and I'm going to, so I'm going to cut down on the formalities, and, and I hope you will appreciate that it's not uh, out of uh, disrespect or ungratefulness, quite, quite to the contrary. Uh, what I would like to do, of course, uh, is like every one of us would like to do, is to, is to talk about my work, right? The, uh, that is what each of us wants to do. Uh, you know, we, we, we come here to, to listen to other people, but we also want to talk about uh, what we do, so that's what I'd like to do, but that's also n not what I'm going to do, uh, uh, regardless of the urge to, 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 to do so. So instead, I'd like to use these three or four minutes that I have to, to say a few words about Alan Mills, indeed, because I was privileged to know him, not very well, but uh, I met him a few times, and I'm particularly honored by the award because I, I enjoyed these meetings and respected him very much. The, the first, uh, the main time I met uh, Harlan uh, was a long, long time ago at the IFIP, indeed, IFIP uh, World Conference in Tokyo. And this was one of my first uh, international uh, papers. Uh, he was the chair of the session. 
And at, at the end of the session, or after the session, he came to me and told me that he liked my paper very much, and he and it was not just uh, uh, politeness. He explained what he liked about it. And I also found out later on by talking to another speaker in the audience, Kokichi Futatsugi, who I don't think is uh, here tonight, but who is a uh, uh, big name in formal methods and uh, head of an institute uh, in uh, Kanazawa in uh, Japan, and who, who also had his first paper at this conference, which was become a good friend, that he had done the same thing, that uh, Mills had done the same thing with Futatsugi, and you know, it's, it's, the, it's the kind of thing that you remember because, I mean, of course, if, you, if you're in this business, you, 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 are, uh, you have a strong ego, right? You, you, you think that you're smarter than everyone else. I mean, if you don't have this kind of attitude, you, if you're the kind of modest, uh, unassuming kind, you, you take some other job, like, I don't know, tra trader at Lehman Brothers or, <laughs> or, or something like that. But, but, but still, the, deep down, there's a kind of security, right? And so, Having someone like, with the name, with a name like Alan Mills, you know, not just be polite, but explain to you what he likes about your paper. This is really at the start of your career, something fantastic to, 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 to get started. Now, uh, with respect to, to his work, um, you know, I'm pretty sure that. Uh, not that perhaps uh, not so many people know about Holland's uh, work, and, and and he introduced a number of uh, techniques that uh, and ideas which are still very important. Uh, and let me just uh, m m mention uh, two of his contributions. First, I should say that uh, I saw somewhere that the prize was called the Holland Mills Practical Visionary Prize. Maybe I'm making this up, but I saw this somewhere on the web. And practical visionary is exactly what uh, Holland Mills were, was about, right? visionary and practical. It's not that easy to be a practical visionary because the practical people think you are kind of uh, 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 an intellectual or an academic, which is an insult, as you know, or uh, you know, a theoretician, and the visionaries don't like, necessarily like you that much. They were, they have, they were, you can still find in EWDs, you know, the Austin Archive in Texas, some really, really nasty comments by uh, Dijkstra, who, uh, who basically accused uh, Holland of doing what Holland was actually trying to do, which was to popularize structured programming, and it must really have stunned, but still, he, he uh, Holland move, move, moved on. And, and some of what remains, actually, I think, are, includes the, the first, the chief programmer idea, you know, the chief programmer team idea. It, it maybe some, it sounds obvious today, but this idea that um, you know, the manager is not just some kind of, you know, uh, Dilbert's boss with a pointy uh, hair <laughs> drone uh, who doesn't know anything about software, but actually he is the best. He's the one who actually codes the most difficult stuff. This is something that may perhaps seem really quite natural today, but it was not at, at, at the time. In the uh, Levi Strauss, uh, Tristropics, uh, Sad Tropics, the, he, he uh, mentions an, an encounter with an Indian uh, chief. Uh, to whom he asked a question that Montaigne, four centuries before, had asked an Indian at the course, court, I think Francois Francis I, and the answer, the question was the same, and the answer was the same. And the question was, what, you are the chief of this tribe, and what makes you, uh, what, what, um, uh, what's your distinction? What makes you, uh, what is the characteristic of the chief of the tribe? And the answer, four centuries apart, was the same. Uh, the chief is the one who walks first into battle. And uh, you know, in a less uh, bellicose uh, mood, this is exactly what the chief programmer is about. And if you think, for example, of agile ideas and, and the way good teams work, this is exactly what it is. And of course, the other uh, main contribution that is uh, remembered today is uh, clean room uh, programming. And I must say, uh, you know, at the time, I didn't like some ideas of include clean room programming that much, and that, uh, which is okay. I hope it's not disrespect disrespectful, right? We're not into hagiography. We're not into uh, sainthood. We, we are science, we fight, we argue, but when, when we recognize a great contribution, even if we don't agree with everything, we, 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 uh, we acknowledge it. And, and in particular, some of the ideas of statistical quality control, uh, uh, which are a part and parcel of uh, clean room programming, uh, have made their way, for example, in things like uh, PSP, the personal software process, and this, this is some of what Holland Mills will we remember it. For. So since I mentioned PSP, uh, I should also uh, use the last minute that, uh, that I have to mention another practical uh, vi uh, visionary. Now this is not so, I should say, uh, pleasant, but the, uh, uh, the author of uh, uh, ideas that have 
really made a mark on our field, uh, such as the capability maturity model, such as uh, CMMI, such as PSP, the personal software process, TSP, and so on, uh, and also pre before that, the, the lead designer of the, system, uh, of the air traffic control system, the software for the uh, air traffic control in the United States was Watts Humphrey. Watts Humphrey is uh, not uh, he, uh, here uh, to, uh, to today, and he, 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 from what I understand, he is not going to be with us for very, very long. Now, a few of us know about this, he, he's not making a secret uh, of it, and we, 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 we wanted to do something at Ixi to, to, to honor him while, while he's uh, with us, and it didn't happen because, first, it was too late, and second, we didn't really want to know what to do, right? Um, and, but still, I mean, it, it, we should. Uh, we, I think we should. We should acknowledge him. We should. We should uh, do do something. And uh, PSP, CMM, and so on are not necessarily everyone's uh, cup of tea, right? But again, it's it's not a geography. We we don't have to agree with uh, everyone's everything someone has done to to acknowledge him. And it's clear that Watts is one of the people who, besides being an extraordinary author of books and mentor for many people, has made a significant mark. On, on, on the field and, and on, on us as a uh, co community. So I, I, I'm not going uh, according to script. I've not you know, uh, cleared this with him or uh, with anyone else. Maybe he'll be very uh, upset at me. I, I don't know. But it seems to me that, I mean, uh, you're all very well behaved people. I'm sure you are going to, to have some applause now. But if instead of that, maybe if someone, not me, but if someone could convey to, I, I, of course, maybe I, I should also add that you know modern medicine does wonders, right? So maybe next year in Hawaii, uh, what will be with us? And, uh, that would be great, but uh, it doesn't seem like it. So if someone uh, could, could uh, tell uh, what at some point that uh, at XC 2010 as a uh, uh, token of wishes for his recovery, and as a way to uh, honor uh, his uh, major contributions to our field, it would be good yeah, if someone told him that uh, ICSI uh, 2010 you know, uh, uh, gave him a standing ovation. There was no better uh, bridging to the, uh, the next award, which is the 